Hey, what is up guys? This is the Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 to 40. And in this video, we're going to put this liquid cooler to the test. We're about to install it on a Ryzen 9 3900X, which is a 12 core processor. And we're going to compare it with the included Wraith Prism cooler that comes boxed with the CPU from AMD. We're going to compare noise levels and temperatures. And we're going to game on both of these to try and figure out if a liquid cooler might be a good investment and a good upgrade to the included boxed cooler now at any point during the video feel free to check out the links to the cooler down in the video description i also find the full specifications uh, of the pc i'm testing on down there as well but yeah before we dig into the benchmarks and how the cooler performs let's firstly take a look at the box and the cooler itself so the radiator is made of aluminum and the cooling block is made of copper now this is a so-called io or all-in-one liquid cooler meaning that you don't need any extra equipment to run this everything is included in the box the installation is actually very simple and once you plug in the small four pin single fan connector the two included pre-installed 120 fans from Arctic p12 series as well as the pump and the onboard vrm fan everything is now being magically controlled from the motherboard fan connector and this is quite frankly the best way to control all your fans in your case as you can fine tune the fan curves to your liking and this will allow the system to add automatically rev up the fans when they need to which will keep your whole uh, gaming pc cool and quiet at all time basically but yeah speaking of the installation arctic doesn't include any printed manual in the box instead they leave us with this uh, qr code that once scanned on my phone here uh, opens up a digital manual with animations showing how the cooler can be installed some people might think this is a, an, an odd decision but i think this is brilliant the animation shows exactly how the cooler can be mounted and it only took me a few seconds to figure out which screws and washes to use for the AM4 socket and speaking of sockets the freezer supports the Intel LGA 11 5X sockets we got the LGA 2011 the 2066 and obviously the AM4 now unlike many liquid coolers the freezer comes equipped with a 40 millimeter fan to cool the VRMs and this rather small fan has a rated uh, speed of 1000 to 3000 RPM the pump is rated for 800 to 2000 rpm and the two included 120 fans from Arctic's p12 series are rated for 200 to 1800 rpm and both these has a max airflow of 56 cfm now the p12 series uses fluid dynamic bearing for maximum lifespan and all the fans including the pump are pwm operated and so the motherboard can adjust the speed of the fans and only let them rev up when they need to to keep your system as quiet as possible at all times now an interesting feature we need to uh, talk a bit about is the extra 40 millimeter fan that sits directly on the cooling block the idea with this fan is that it should blow a uh, cold air to the vrm uh, that sits around the processor and thereby lower the temperature i wasn't particularly interested to find out how this performs and especially interested about the noise levels and we're gonna look at this in a moment now speaking of noise before we look at the first test i did i I just want to add that the whole installation went uh, actually very smooth. I decided to install the IO in a Corsair Crystal for 60x. So this is an ATX full tower and it went pretty smooth actually. One minor thing I noticed with the installation was the stiff hoses as they are quite thick. But yeah, I guess you cannot make uh, the hoses too thin either. But yeah, once the water block and the radiator was in place, everything worked brilliantly. The radiator measures a 38 mm in thickness and the fans add another 25 millimeters so you need to make sure you have at least 63 millimeters of clearance between the mounting and the motherboard if you decide to mount this in the top in order for the radiator to fit now worth noting is that uh, there is no rgb on this cooler at all unlike the prism that can be addressed in a wide range of colors and patterns and i guess this is something that arctic could possibly include with future products in the freezer lineup as i know there are a lot of gamers out there that want to show off their components and adding a bit of rgb here would have been pretty nice all right so for the first test i decided i wanted to game for a bit so i fired up a world of warcraft classic and right now i am actually leveling up an undead priest on Johannes. let me know in the comments below if you're playing world of warcraft classic and i want to know your favorite class anyway i was running around questing for about 30 minutes or so with temperatures running between 
58 to 60 uh, two degrees on the processor with precision boost overdrive activated and i saw moments with clock speeds of 4.4 gigahertz again on the ryzen 9 3900x from amd now compared to the prism we see that the difference is not huge but the lower temperatures allow the processor to reach higher clock speed and the 3900x was actually able to go higher thanks to lower temperatures as a result on the arctic and while on the prism the clock speed was averaging in the 4.2 gigahertz region now to put some real load on the 3900x we're going to fire up the cpu as said stress test tool and we're gonna measure the noise level here at specific fan speed as well but yeah let's start with the testing tool in cpu said yeah it should also be said i'm running the 3900x at complete stock settings now looking at the temperatures here from the stress testing reveals some pretty interesting details now letting the breath prism rev up to its maximum at 36 and 50 rpm leaves the processor pretty hot here at 91 celsius while the arctic freezer did a whole lot better at just 73 degrees and that is about 25 percent lower temperatures at full uh, fan speed and jumping over to the intel a burn test shows a similar pattern again where the wrath is struggling to keep the temperatures in place the freezer manages to handle the temperatures a lot better now worth noting is that we're currently creating a pretty unusual scenario that is putting a lot more strain on the processor than what's typical for everyday computing and gaming but it gives us a better picture of how each cooling solution performs when you push everything to the absolute limit and when we look at the noise levels and we compare the AMD Wrath Prism to the pump and the P12 fan the freezer is actually not that loud considering the fact that we actually got four moving parts here remember we got the 40 millimeter VRM fan we got the pump as well as the two uh, 120 fans on the radiator at 20% I'm barely able to hear the fans and it wasn't until I reached about 60% fan speed that I actually started to notice the radiator and the P12 fans the prism becomes pretty loud at 60% and beyond that it just gets worse now at 100% fan speed the liquid cooler is definitely noticeable but I'm quite frankly happy to report that the 40 millimeter fan is still a uh, pretty quiet now looking at the intel burn test pushing the ryzen 3900x to full load with the included breath prism isn't something that i would actually recommend considering the fact that we do now have technologies like pbo or precision boost overdrive where algorithms can overclock the processor if temperatures allows for it which can give you a sweet boost in performance as a bonus makes a cooler like this a pretty damn good investment as these lower temperatures allow the processor to reach higher clock speeds as a result and the ryzen 3900x for example i was actually able to go higher thanks to the lower temperatures as a result i actually saw clock speeds of 4.4 when i was leveling in a classic where on the prism the clock speed was averaging on 4.2 so to try and wrap this up i'm happy to report that if you got about 60 dollars to spend on the cooler the arctic liquid freezer 2 to 40 is a brilliant option it is definitely worth considering and can be a very good solution particularly in any you know smaller pc case where clearance is a common issue the spinning 40 millimeter fan is not noticeably louder than the 120 fans and it provides the vrm with some well needed cooling as well now worth having in mind is that many io coolers are lacking any form of vrm cooling altogether so this is obviously a nice bonus unfortunately i am unable to test how the fan performed as the vrms are lacking temperature sensors as a side note i should also say that i decided to leave the breath prism in its normal mode and i decided not to activate the high performance which would have allowed the fan to rev up all the way to 3600 rpm or so but yeah at 3600 rpm the fan becomes very loud so i decided to never activate this because of that reason anyway for more details about this cooler have a look down in the video description i want to thank arctic for sending me this cooler for testing as always i am 100 percent unbiased when i am making these reviews i want to thank you so much for watching this video watch either of these two videos for more content but yeah until next time have an awesome day